this is one of the biggest differences between having kids in daycare and having kids in public school. I have two in daycare and two in public school. And the thing about public school that you will learn is that there are so many days off. They're not always full days off. They might be late starts or early releases, but there are a lot of days off. And for context, in the last six weeks, out of the last six weeks, my kids have only gone to a full week of school twice. So they had a full week off for February vacation. Then they went back to school. That was a full week of school. Then the next week they had Tuesday off because it was voting. It was super Tuesday. So they had Tuesday off. Then they went to school for a full week. Then this week they have two half days today and tomorrow. And then next week they have two half days, Wednesday and Friday. Honestly, it is a lot to keep up with. Every single month I have to look at our calendar and think, when are they going to school? And when aren't they going to school? And I'm looking at the calendar right now and I'm looking towards April. We have April vacation. And then for some reason, the week before and the week after, they also have half days. So it's a lot to manage. And if you are a parent who historically relied on daycare, you're really used to having this structured schedule with very few professional development days where your kids are home or holidays where they're home. When they enter public school, they are home quite often. And I even am neighboring a town that has half days every Fridays. And I know a lot of people do half day Wednesdays. It is important that you realize this ahead of time and you can plan childcare accordingly. A lot of after school programs will offer childcare to supplement this time, but not always. And so you need to take work off or you need to find a sitter. And it's just something that many people aren't prepared for. So I'd like to, I'd like to tell people. <laughs>